Hello and welcome everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to set your own favorite 3D printer on Kura software. The first thing we need to do is add a printer. How we do that is by going up here, where the name of current set 3D printer, and left clicking, and then add printer. Under a non-networked printer, there is already a large selection of printers that are already registered with Kura. If you have one of these machines, all you have to do is make sure that you click the correct version, and your printer will be set up for you by adding a printer. If you have a printer that isn't on these lists, what you need to do, is go to a custom FFF printer, and then name your printer. I'm going to call my printer XY2 Pro, as that is the printer I have and then click add. Then the machine settings will come up. What's very important here is that you get the correct X, Y, and Z sizes for your build area. These will be listed on your 3D printer's datasheet. So the box that it came with will tell you the build volume X, Y, and Z. For example, on the XY2 Pro, the build volume is 255 by 255, by 260 millimeters. It is usually in that format, width, depth, and height. The build plate shape is rectangular for my printer. However, if your 3D printer's print plate is elliptic, then choose elliptic. My machine's home position is on the corner, so I am going to leave origin at center as it is. And I have a heated bed. It's very important that if you have a heated bed, that you click a heated bed. Otherwise, your bed will not heat up automatically. If your printer is enclosed, then you may select heated build volume. Underneath, you have start and NG code. These are the instructions that the printer performs before it starts printing and once it finishes. These instructions here are to tell the printer at the print start to heat up, go to the home position, and then begin. And then once it finishes, it goes back to its home position. Under Extruder 1, you can also set the nozzle size for your 3D printer. Then set the filament diameter. So once you are done, click Finish. And you'll see that your 3D printer name has been added here. And your build volume is at the correct size. Thank you for watching our tutorial. See you in the next one.